Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the armature resistance control. In that armature resistance control, just look at here. When the armature resist external resistance will be varied, then automatically speed can be varied. So by using that, we have discussed some more points. In that, the when the armature current increases, if you Get, draw the relation between speed and the armature current by different different armature external resistances it will be like this in this there is no external resistance simply speed will be like this this is for speed will be like this and this is especially for DC shunt motor for DC shunt motor because in the shunt motor when the armature current will be increases the speed will be slightly decreases right but in in this just look at here the external resistance is more then speed will be less then the external resistance slightly decreases and external resistance is high the speed will be less speed will be high like that so just observe here the external resistance speed will be high this will be low this will be low at the rated points so if we are considering the same characteristics for the dc series motor so if it is for dc series motor so in the dc series motor same if we consider the same thing that is if the external resistance is zero and if the external resistance is one ohm and external resistance is 2 ohms and external resistance is 3 ohms then the relation between the armature current and speed is like this so here for DC series motor speed will be varies like this speed will be hyperpolar motor right so in this in this just if we if, if you want to find the efficiency we want to find the efficiency how it varies we should look at here so we are discussing about the motor so you know that the motor will take the input of electrical power and the motor will give the output of mechanical power right here the efficiency equal to output by input output is mechanical power and the input is input here just look at here we can write generally if you look at here efficiency can be right in terms of speeds also that is n2 by n1 how here n1 is rated speed n1 is the rated speed that means it if it, it want to rotate with the rated speed that means it will work as the rated motor generally for example assume that the motor is so he mentioned here n1 is the 1000 rpm is the rated speed so n2 is the rota speed n2 is the rota speed here n1 is the rated speed n2 is the rota speed here the efficiency equal to n2 by n1 our intention is to rotate the speed with rated speed but practically rota with rotary is rotated with some speed so that's why that is n2 by n1 into 100 here take it the rated speed n1 equal to 1000 rpm that is the rated speed if the rota speed n2 equal 800 rpm then what is the efficiency 800 by 1000 into 100 then the efficiency will become the 80 percent if it is the rotor is rotated with 700 rpm then it rotates with the 70 percent if it is rotated with the 500 rpm then the efficiency is the 50 percent if it is rotated with the 200 rpm then the efficiency is the 20 percent so the rotor speed will decide the efficiency of the any motor any motor like that so using this method wide range of speed control is not possible so generally this armature resistance control wide range is not possible it has only low range control is possible 
only limited range of speed control is possible so in this speed control is limited range this is important thing so generally for any motor or any application we require wide range of control that means we, we should control with some zero speed to 1000 rpm speed then we can call it as it is efficient efficient control otherwise it is not possible because efficiency poor at low speed the reason is efficiency is poor at the low speed since more copper loss due to the external resistances here the reason is so we are adding external resistance to the armature external resistance to the armature whenever this external resistance to the armature what happen the copper loss will be increases how i square into r r means this is the value so that's why it is only limited for the low limit control low speed control okay so this is about completely about the armature resistance control so by varying the armature resistance we can control the speed okay next we will enter into the topic armature voltage control armature voltage control so same thing to understand this we have to get the speed equation that is here the speed is proportional to the back emf and inversely proportional to the flux here the speed back emf we can write voltage minus armature drop by the flux just observe here here the speed is proportional to the voltage just take it the speed is proportional to the armature voltage armature voltage just look at here for example if you are considering the separately excited motor in that the separate excitation will be given separate excitation will be given and that will give the field current that will produce the field current and it will rotate with some speed it will rotate with the some speed okay for example how it is possible means just you look at the some example if the voltage applied voltage is for example 200 volts and then the speed will have 1000 rpm so we will have the 1000 rpm if the applied voltage v2 equal to 100 volts then the speed is become only 100 rpm so we have some relation between these two speeds we have some relation between the two speeds so not only the voltage it is proportional to although it is proportional to speed but the speed this flux will decide armature current as well as the flux armature current and the flux okay right next in this we have a subtopic that is armature voltage control for series motor so how we can control the speed of series motor speed of series motor How we can control the speed of series motor in this just look at here this is the series motor so this is the armature and field is seriously connected just look at here the speed can be controlled by using armature voltage below rated value so it is only possible the speed is controlled below rated value not more than rated because the voltage can't be controlled above rated value the reason is voltage also controlled only below rated value due to the insulation problem the reason is the insulation problem because up to rated we should provide some insulation if the voltage is increases more than rated value the providing insulation is the difficult thing providing insulation is the difficult thing so that's why the armature voltage control method is only applicable for the below rated speeds 
so here just observe here if you look at here the armature for example we have the two series motors two series motors are connected seriously like this so this is the armature and the field and the armature and field these two are connected series and voltage is applied across this motor so generally in during starting condition what happen we have to look at here so this is the voltage this voltage will take only half of the supply because these are equally rated machines this is also half of the supply and it will gets armature current ia and it will gets armature current ia both the will get the armature current ia and if these two if these two are connected parallelly so this series connection generally used during starting conditions but the parallel connection of two machines generally used during the running condition here voltage is applied across it and so it is parallelly connected the armature current will be divided this is ia by 2 and this is the ia by 2 two currents will be divided and the voltage will be applied across it the voltage will be applied across it okay so the analysis of this armature voltage control for series motor we will discuss in the next session okay so this is about armature voltage control and armature how to control the speed of dc series motor by using the armature voltage control i hope all of you understand the session thank you